So there's a couple of things. When you watch that video, a lot of people, they just like to throw these words out there. You know, words mean something. You know, it, 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 you can't just throw it out there. It just doesn't make sense. So he said it's a classic dividend yield trap. Okay. What, give me some example of a classic dividend yield trap. When you think of classic, man, the stock market been around since the 1800s. I mean, forget about 1900. This thing been around since, you know, uh, when Henry Ford was building the T-Mobile uh, uh, vehicle, you know, the, 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 the Model T. I mean, the stock market been around. That's where they get the Ponzi scheme guy came from. The Ponzi scheme guy didn't come out in 1990 or 2000. It didn't come out with Lima Brother. It came out way back in the 1900s, early 1900s. All right, people been scamming, you know, been scamming people for a long, long time. They people been, you know, they using dividend yield trap. And when I think of classic, I think of those group of people. But what he's describing, what he's describing yield trap. This is my definition of the mon yield trap, boy. Right? And I'm just gonna give an example. So this way, I help him to promote his video a little bit. A good definition is think of bad, uh, bad, bad, and beyond, all right? Just do some research on that, bad, bad, and beyond, all right? Bad, bad, and beyond was losing its market share, okay? They're losing their market share to Amazon, to uh, Walmart. Uh, they, they, they got too late in the game in the, the delivery business, and they rely purely on people coming in their store to buy stuff, you know, buy, you know, decoration, home decoration stuff. And they're losing that. And so they end up closing a lot of the store. So one of the way for the corporate to save them, to save them. So somebody in, in the Reddit alert, uh, Reddit, uh, the social media group, they start, they start talking good about this company. Hey, this company's great and everything's good. So people jump on it and start buying it. People start buying. There's a lot of, a lot of shareholder, retail shareholder that should not be owning their stock. But they end up buying because this guy is jumping. He's making... So he ended up he ended up selling at the highest point. I, I don't know what the dollar amount was, but this social media got got this uh, stock rally up to like uh, you know a lot a lot. I thought it was seventy dollar, but it, he only shows seventy and uh, thirty. And so what happened is, and then and then next thing you know, he sold all his share. He just dumped all his share and sold it. And then they got got into a frenzy, and that's probably this probably this right here. And then Bad and Bad Beyond has to face a couple of things. Number one, they end up buying a lot of their stock back to preserve that because once a rally of selling, they just start dumping the, the stocks. And uh, so they go in a panic mode. The other things they were doing is they were giving out high dividends to keep people from leaving. Yeah, so they, they were they were paying high dividends and to keep people from leaving. So. So yeah, it was just total disastrous for Bad and Bad Beyond. It just became a nightmare for, and they end up they end up following Chapter Eleven. They end up getting bought by Overstock.com, whatever the, the name of the company is. So that is a classic case of dividend yield trap. We're trying to incite people to stay, okay? Not not to, you know so they don't sell it. Let me. So he's trying to elude that to Tesla. All right, so here's a couple of problems with his analogy in this thing. So this way we all can share the same view. The, the, the first problem is you, he's, he's comparing common stocks to an ETF, which is totally different. So the first question I ask is how many ETF have been in this situation and actually fail? You, you're going to find out that's going to, I mean, the mission of the ETF, the core mission, which he read, the core mission of the ETF is to generate income. It literally said that. I mean, they, they didn't sugarcoat it. They didn't pretend it. Uh, let's go to yield max real quick. And it is literally the core mission of the ETF. Fund overview. The yield max TSA a option income strategy ETF is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling, writing, call option on TSLA. TSLY pursue a strategy that aims to harvest compelling yields while retaining cap participation in the price gain of TSLA. Wow. Well written, well written, uh, you know, fund description and fund objective. They tell you the fund primary investment objective is to seek current income. 
Dude, I never went to school in business. I read this and I kind of understand pretty quickly. And so when he said this is a dividend trap, obviously he doesn't understand a whole bunch of factor. He doesn't understand, number one, this is an ETF, not a stock, which is totally different. Number two, this stock does covered call on another stock, on another, instead of owning multiple stocks, instead of owning Amazon, Microsoft, and, and you know, Meta and all that stuff, and Nvidia, they only own one, that's Tesla. And they do cover call on that, and yet they don't even do cover call on that, they do a synthetic cover call. So they make money based on the option trades, on the puts and the call which is translation on its up or down of the Tesla price. So the more the Tesla uh, volatile, in other words, the more it go up and down, all those peak and valley, every time Tesla peak and valley, it's good. That's what, that's exactly what yield max want. Yield max want these peak and valley, these peak and valley, peak and valley, peak and valley, peak and valley, peak and valley. Man, they just go up peak and valley all the time. Tesla is the most volatile stocks out there. And that's why it generates so much income. But what do they use to collateral? If they don't, the, the word cover mean you buy the, buy the share, buy the stocks and uh, cover mean, for example, they would, they would own a hundred share of Tesla stocks. In, this, in their case, it's not a hundred, it would be like a couple hundred thousand, you know, like a million dollar worth of Tesla stocks, right? And then they do cover, that means they use the Tesla stock as collateral. That's what cover mean. But in TSLY case, in yield map case, they don't do that. They, they, don't, they don't do that. They use, they essentially use the bond. So if you go look at TSLY, they don't own Tesla. This is what they hold. They hold the treasury notes. They use that as the collateral. Happy to, mate, whenever yeah. you're ready. Yeah, go ahead and explain. Uh, explain. Uh, I mean, if, first of all, if uh, am I explaining it right? Does it make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Yeah, we're just, because people are attacking TSLY and they keep saying this is a dividend yield trap. No, these guys are good. The, 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 uh, Mike sent me a video, which you all got to watch someday. Uh, Mike, do you have still have the link? If you want to share that video. I, uh, so Mike sent a video. Um, the guy's name, I forgot, Jay Pesky something. Jay Pesky? Pereski? This is the Yield Max Manager. The Yield Max Manager is like the Tom Brady of, yield, of, of, of option call. This guy wrote books on option. I'm, I'm gonna buy his book someday. I'm gonna just go buy a book, go to Barnes and Noble and just buy the books and just read it. And he's in charge of it. Yeah. They got a really good yeah, option look, call. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see it as a, a, a trap as such. I don't think it's had long enough on the market to put some of those or allay some of those fears. Um, but that it doesn't overly concern me. The income is generated from the option sales. It, it's that simple. Um, so long as they're not giving back capital, who cares? Yeah, uh, you, you hit nail on the head. I mean, they essentially, all their income generate from the option not from Tesla to separate company.